hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to discuss one of the important topic that is a parameterization so let's understand how parameterization work in azure data factory so what is parameterization it is a process of dynamic pass the value during runtime to avoid a duplicate task let's take an example and let's understand suppose my requirement is like i have to copy a data from a sql db to the blob storage so what I will use, I will use one copy data and uh, which particular table I have to copy. So for that I will create one data set. In this data set I will pass the table name like a table 1. Where you have to copy, I have to copy into blob storage. So I will create one data set and here I will pass the location where I have to copy. Now my requirement is like, suppose I have a hundreds of the table like I have a table 1, table 2, table 3, table 4, table 5 like that I have a hundred now if you have to copy hundreds of the table so for that what you have to do again you have to create one copy data so if you have to point out the table 2 again you will create one data set and that data set will point out to the table 2 till now we were doing like this only right and uh, where you have to copy suppose you have to copy into the another location so for that you will again create one uh, another data set and you will pass the location value similarly for the table 3 table 4 but suppose you have hundreds of the table then hundreds of the data set you have to create to avoid this all the process we have a concept of the parameter so in the parameter what we can do we can create a single data set and in this data set we will create a single data set that will point to the SQL DB and whenever we have to run dynamically we will pass the value so suppose table 1 you have to copy so whenever you will run you will pass the val value as a table 1 so suppose you have to copy table 2 so during runtime you will pass the name as a table 2 and that will copy a data table 2 similarly for the table 3 means one data set you can use it for the all the tables so that is the advantage of the parameterization let me show you with the example so that you will be having a better understanding first i will show you database so i have created one sql database how to create sql database we have already covered and i have created a sample table so i got this all the table so as of now i have a multiple tables are available you can see address table customer table customer address product product category my requirement is to I have to copy all the table into the blob storage so what I will do instead of creating a data set individually for all I will create a single database that will point out to the all the table so what I will do I will go to the data factory in the data factory you can see we have one option data set so what you will do click on the new data set we are going to create a one data set so where my file is my file is a sql database so i'll select that click on the continue we'll create a link service so so that we will be able to connect to the sql database so we have to pass the subscription you have to pass the server name you have to pass the database name so this all the value also we can pass dynamically that we will see in the next video but as of now I am passing a I am hard coding this all the value after that we have to click on the create now previously what I was doing if I had to copy the sales LT address I was selecting the particular table and that particular uh, table only I was able to read but I have to read all the table in through a one data set so I am not going to select any table name I'll just click on the ok now here you can see we have one option parameter in the table you can see as of now we haven't passed any value so what we will do dynamically we will pass so for that what we will do we will create a parameter so click on the parameter click on the new here I will create one parameter name as a table name you can give any name here now come to the connection click on the enter manually it is asking me schema name and the table name schema name is nothing but a what is your db name so my db is suppose sales lt that is my db name if i'll show you 
here sales lt dot address so sales lt is nothing but a db for me address is a table name so table name for the table name i'll click on the dynamic content and this parameter we have created right so i'll just click on that you can see this is the data set dot table name one expression got created i'll just click on the okay means now we have created one we are passing dynamically value of the table name now if i'll click on the preview data it is asking me to pass the table name so suppose i will pass the table name as a customer customer is a table click on the okay i am able to read the customer data customer id name style right suppose i had to read a address table so what i will do i'll click on the preview data here i have to pass the address if i'll click on the okay i am able to read the address address id address line so i have created a single data set and that i can use for the multiple purpose and dynamically i have passed the value now suppose this sales lt right so suppose you have other database also dbo also so instead of hard coding the sales lt what i will do click on the parameter click on the new and here i can give the name as a db you can give any name now come to the connection i'll click on the add dynamic content db i'll select the db click on the okay now if i'll click on the preview data it will ask me to pass the db and the address so what is my db db is a sales lt so i'll give the sales lt and address click on the okay i am able to preview your data means i have created one data set that particular data set i can use for the all the table so that is the advantage we get with the help of the parameters now you can create one copy data activity you can select one data set that with the help of that uh, data set you will be able to copy a multiple table so that is the advantage we get in a parameterization so i hope you got the idea in next video we will continue and we will see more about the parameterization